Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tommy G. Today we're diving into the world of scamming. Everything you're about to see is purely reenactment and for educational purposes only, so you don't get scammed like people like this. What would you say if you met a scammer in real life? Probably punch him. Respects to my fee, Heather. I got the fees hooked, it's hard to say no. When they come back, they say they love the pills. I know I love those. I can't lie, the process wasn't perfect. I killed my, my tester. Just in a cash shop, <laughs> just in a, just in a, the out, the out, yo, damn, yo, Jay. yo, man, we need to go find them nigga phone, nigga, yo, you pocket watch, yo, God, yo, 21, 21, nigga said that all stack stocks, nigga, that shit say cash balance, nigga, you stupid, yo, bro, that shit say cash balance, bro, that's in his shit. I gotta pay respects to my fee, Heather. She took my put that up here. Everything's free today. Today we meet one of the most famous scammers on the internet, Punch Made Dev. He's made a name for himself as one of the biggest scam rappers on the wait, internet. Wait, wait, do y'all know this nigga from 2K community? They'll take flight. Like this shit crazy, bro. When I found out, well, I found out about him being from 2K community last year. Yeah, with songs like How to Write a Dump and Punch Anthem. On his social media platforms, he flaunts an absurd amount of money and jewelry. Today, I ask him about the most common scams people are pulling right now so that we the people can better learn how to protect ourselves from scammers like him. The goal of this documentary is twofold. First, to be aware of how scammers operate, and second, to encourage viewers to be the hero and not the villain. Not only is scamming a loser way to make money, but it also can carry a heavy penalty of up to 20 years in prison. The reenactments you are about to see are for education purposes only. Your discretion is advised. I'm hitting banks, dropping checks, cooking clones, and cracking cars. Our job today is to explore the most common scams that are out there, see how we can protect you, the viewer, from it, and also meet a guy that is a true internet phenomenon. Bro, wait, I mean, I mean, let me, let me, look, look, this is why I don't understand. I don't understand. If this nigga scams, we know he scams, he scams on videos, how the fuck this nigga not arrested? Like, what the f Yo, bro, like, bro, I don't understand, bro. Like, 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 on some real shit. Yo, yo, yo. If he scams, and everybody know he scams, and nigga know he at, why is he not arrested, bro? I don't understand. Is it real? No evidence. The nigga evidence. The motherfucker telling you. Hey, Dad. We're not taking any chances with this guy. We don't know how good of a scammer he is, but I'm putting my wallet with my credit cards in the glove box. Yeah, nice to meet you, man. You look like you're out of a movie scene, dude. A oh. character from GTA or something. I'm a fucking 99 of world game player. You a smart scammer? What's your social security number? I got yours. <laughs> How yeah. hard is it to scam somebody with uh, just their wallet? But there's actually this device, you could put it right up to your fucking like wallet. If you got that chip on it. That's what we researched and that's why we hit our yes, credit right. cards from you. You <laughs> said so you hit the credit cards? Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> Let's say I got it in my pocket like that or like just like this on some shit. And you can just, just walk up to me and be like, my bad, bro. Oh, and then I don't got it on everything. everything. Yes, I'm Tommy G now after that. <laughs> so you can steal what? My credit card, my debit card. Anything with a chip. Now picture this. You have my credit card and debit card. You just ran my account empty. Yeah. Do you feel bad? Nah. The bank's gonna give you the money back. You ever heard of like a TLO lookup? Like if I had your first and last name, your social will come up every day. I could probably find you real quick. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Ooh, you're 29, eh? Wait, 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 Chad. I know I, I brought chill, chill, but look. If, 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 if he can scam you and they get your money back, nigga, why not? Damn. Like, bro, you can pull a fucking pyramid scheme on the government, but I know you can get caught. Think about it. This nigga scam, nigga, he say get your money back. This, bro, this video is hella proof, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Yo, what? It's your birthday? Got a criminal record. Yeah, I got arrested. 
Damn, what for? I did a prank channel. I, I had a fake ball sack that I was had hanging out in my pants, and an old couple thought I was really showing them my ball sack. So they arrested me for indecent exposure. So you're registered, uh, in the <laughs> no, I'm not a registered sex <laughs> offender. <laughs> How do you describe yourself in the scamming world? I feel like the whole world's a scam, but they just look at me as a bad guy. See, if I take money from you, you're gonna get the money back. Nobody's gonna hurt. I mean, it would be fucked up if I simps walk you and then just like posting like some crazy shit on your Instagram. Is that possible? Yes. You think you're a bad guy? <sighs> I feel like he's worse people. Robin Hood was well liked because he took from the rich and gave to the poor. Yeah. Do you view yourself as a modern day Robin Hood? Take from the rich and give to the poor. I really take from the poor and then the rich is me. What wallet do you recommend to people to protect them from scammers? There is no wallet. Or if it was, I wouldn't tell nobody. Okay, so how can someone avoid that wallet scam? Use Apple Pay, I guess. So but just don't we, carry a wallet? Yeah, don't carry a wallet. That's the only way to avoid it. Yeah. How much does this thing cost? $38,000. $38, just for the pendant. How can I tell this is real or fake? I'm gonna get a diamond sister. We can go to the jewelry store. Not sure how illegal this all is, but YouTube, this is educational purposes, a documentary. Don't ban this, don't strike this, don't age restrict it. Let me show the people what they need to see to protect themselves. So is there like an exit strategy in the scammer world? Cause I feel like your, your clock's ticking. My clock's ticking. I mean, eventually, right? I mean, even Al Capone got, got you know? I'm not Al Capone, I'm Punch Made Dev, undefeated. What's your guys' take on scamming? Oh, the, the government scamming. They doing bill, billion dollar scam. What's the little millions and shit we taking? What's that going hurt? All right guys, Damn, look at the bank. What are you guys thinking? My Yo, bro, bullshit detector's going off a little bit. That's he fake that little million. Like it had like that tin can rattle to it. Should I never we call caught. Tracks NYC and see if he can tell us if Punch Made yes. stuff is real or yeah. fake? Hey, I'm, a, I'm about to film someone doing something sketchy at a bank, but I need, I'm need i trying to find out how I can tell if something's a fake diamond or not. We're with Punch Made Dev and he has allegedly quarter million dollars of bling on his neck and I want to call Tracks and see how we know if he's legit or not. Do you have any like photos of it you could just send me quick before? Yeah. Send me the photos and then I'll let you know. Cool, all right, sounds good. What the hell are you doing right now? I'm about to hit a wire. What does that mean? Log in and um, wire some money up. Tommy's trying to learn how to scale. <laughs> That's what Tommy's trying to no, do. No, the, the goal of this episode is to learn how to protect the people at home from this type of tomfoolery. That, that, how much are you going to clean this guy out? If they'll give me 20, I'll do it. What's going to happen? You're going to walk in there. Yeah. You're going to wire transfer money to yourself from someone else's account. How quick is all this going to happen? You think? 10 minutes. Have you ever known someone that's been scammed? No, but I've almost been scammed myself. How, how did you almost get scammed? Well, I mean, people call you every day. With Somebody called me yesterday and told me I had $2,500 worth of vacation points. And I've they, never signed up for anything. What should be the punishment for a scammer? Uh, Probation? Should be the punishment. I don't know what the punishment should be. A jury should determine that. Fair enough. Has anyone attempted to scam you before? Yes. How do they do it? Uh, with my debit. And what happened to you when they tried to scam you? Uh, I just found a charge on my debit card that I didn't do. Ooh, this is in Arizona. <laughs> How much was it for? It wasn't a lot. It was only about $80. Wait, hold on. Editor, my editor, you watch this edited out. I gotta go piss bad. Yo, this is a WS video. Yo, yo, this shit got me interested, bro. Because, bro, this scamming shit, I don't... Yo, I feel like at a certain extent, it is it, 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 like y'all said, bro. I don't think he really doing this shit because I feel like motherfucker been on his ass. I feel like he's scamming his fans like a real shit, but I don't think, bro. I don't think he really doing this shit, bro. Because all you gotta do is just, bro, when when the fans get in this shit, bro, they in this shit, bro. And be hitting niggas like they say he hitting niggas, why he ain't locked up, bro? It, 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 it's a uh, y'all you know I mean, it's a uh, it's a uh, wait, hold on, check. I'll be right back out of peace. ASAP, do not leave. We finna film this video. This is a good ass video. My mama, this shit is, bro. Hold on, hold on.
I'm back. Like I said, bro, I don't think this nigga actually scamming, bro. Like, I feel like, look, 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 look chat. Y'all might call me a dickhead. But what I feel like that nigga doing, chat, before we start this, I feel like he, when he first started this scamming shit, I feel like he scammed a couple people. Like, really did this shit. But I feel like, uh, I feel like after he scammed a couple niggas, uh, he stopped doing it and started scamming people. And look, 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 look. I think this was little chat, bro. What motherfucker don't understand, bro. Said this video to stop niggas from scamming, bro. This shit gonna make a nigga wanna scam me again. 30, 40 racks ain't doing shit. You right, like, like, bro. Look, this nigga doing this, shit. like they promoting this nigga, like, bro. They pro this nigga tell me this shit got how many views? Three point set two mil, and so far all this shit maybe wanna do is scam. Goddamn, to be honest, I'm just saying though. Wait. Did the bank refund you? We did. What should be the punishment for scammers? I'm not sure. See, I got their balance right there, 430k. I'm about to wire that to this account that I got my hands on. I'm gonna try to just do a quick 10 real quick. Oh, how nice can you have your own taking 10 racks instead of 20? 10,000. All right, let's do it. Why do you think scamming's become so popular? Especially? What do you guys think when kids look up to you? It's actually pretty crazy. You don't want to work for 50 years to back broke, and now you can finally do what you want because you finally got some money. How long do you guys want to be in the game for before you're... I, I want to be like probably 30, then invest. Forever, hey, bro, yo, bro, hey, yo, I need to stop doing this shit, stop it, but this is one of the most interesting videos I ever ran across, bro, because I, I be having so much money, like, how is they able to purchase some? Without having an uh, income, like 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 evidence of they proof of income, like how are they able to just get this shit? Like who are they having to get this shit? This shit is somebody's name. You feel me? Like bro, it's so much way they can get. Like I don't know, bro. It, I don't know, bro. It, it, bro, that shit ain't easy. Rap it. Oh yeah, yeah. Thank you. Damn. Like that. Free ten. Let me sniff it to make sure. Yeah, go ahead. What are you gonna do with this ten thousand dollars? I might uh, give it back. What's the most amount of money you ever? This. That shit crazy, bro. Kind of a banquet. Seventy thousand. How did that feel? Feel good. Feel amazing. I went about a chain with it. We're gonna head to a gas station next and show you the next scam to avoid. Bro. We just got a message from Mickey. They're probably real. Might be more than a quarter million dollars. What? And um, on his Instagram, the one with all like the MasterCards, I think I saw like a different jeweler actually post them who made them like a while ago. So yeah, it's real. Sorry, Punch My Dev, we thought you were fake. You know who tracks NYC is? Yeah. I asked him if your shit was fake, guess what he said? He said it's real. Oh, he got me? <laughs> no, no, he said it's real, though. Yeah, I know, I was saying he got my back, man, you know? Ain't no denying that. This is why I thought it was fake, it was the clunking sound. Every time it, it sound like it that. don't sound like that, you need to be looking suspicious. I will admit that I was wrong, plus I know nothing about bling. So we're getting into skimmers yeah. and dumps. And dumps. what's a dump? So say if I wanted to write up a dump, right? I would get a track win, oh, uh, a 101 or a 201. So I get the information off my site. You can use the white blanks, but this one's better because it got a whole face. This is the big boy win. The one right here, this is the Bluetooth one I got, but I couldn't bring it on the plane with me, so. How much does this cost? Can't be no more than like 100. And how much does this major? It's like over 500K. So if someone says they're a certified dumper, this is what they're talking about. They could either be the person getting the dumps with the skimmer, or they could be the person writing them up using them. Say like, I know. The one right here, this is the Bluetooth one I got, but I couldn't bring it on the plane with me, so. How much does this cost? Can't be no more than like 100. And how much does this major? It's like over 500. What the? Think it spent 100? Made 500? Yo, bro, yo, bro, yo, bro, yo, bro, what we got? Give me one there, bro. Yo, what's up, bro? Let me invest in one right now, bro. Yo, let me, yo, fuck it. They ain't get caught funny. Y'all can give me a team hood. Let's get it, bro. We finna be a scammer, bro. Y'all finna hit niggas, bro. I'm finna hit me some niggas, man.
So if someone says they're a certified dumper, this is what they're talking about. They could either be the person getting the dumps with the skimmer, or they could be the person writing them up using them. Say like I know somebody working at McDonald's, right? I'll give them a skimmer and they work through the drive-thru. So say somebody's buying something right now, right? They'll pay, right? And then my person will quickly go like this, swipe it on the, uh, from my end, and that's when I get all the info. End of the day, I have like a list of like 20 of them. I'm about to wipe this one empty, I'm about to write up a dump on it for y'all. Is the FBI looking into you? Because how are you not in federal prison at this point? I know what I'm doing. You got a VPN, a proxy server, RDP. And the way someone stops this is by hitting lock on their bank account, right? Yeah. So as far as scamming goes, are you- Bruh, okay, let me stop pausing this shit, bro. Yo, how is, like, bro, that's like you shoot sooner, nigga. Bro, that this worse than Melly in it saying, bro, this worse than Melly situation. This nigga is scamming on camera. He, how is it, bro? Even if it was like, what the, bro? Bro, what? What? Look at these niggas. Look at the school shooters in the back, bro. Y'all, bro, school shooters. Bro, look, bro. These niggas and they scammers. Bro, bro, if I get scammed by niggas like this, bro, I'll be pissed. The A-level scammer? Oh, I'm, I'm like LeBron of the scammer and Michael Jordan combined. Does yeah. your mother know you're a scammer? No, nah, I tell her I do crypto. All right, one question, uh, bro. Wait, wait, wait. One question. One, don't lie. Who the biggest scammer? Dale Take Flight. Dale Take Flight. Or TJ86. Yeah, bro, if this nigga be TJ, bro, I don't even want to be around this nigga, bro. Y'all don't even want to be around this nigga, dog. L T J T J Damn bro them niggas some junkies bro this some junkie shit bro if you think about it bro you stealing stuff out of their shit basically bro they some rip junkies the numbers plugged in I'm about to run this through yeah. so now I just wrote somebody else's info right here how much money is on that card this one got about like a six hundred dollar balance wherever y'all went we're about to go get everything for free real quick. Yo, bro, they wrong for that, bro. Even a, you hit a nigga with six hundred dollars on his account, bro. Man, ain't got shit, bro. Got, bro, bro, got a hella to lose, bro. Six hundred, yo, bro. You take a six hundred, bro. You wrong for that shit, bro. I would have left that alone. Like that could be bro bill money or some shit, bro. Six hundred. Are they gonna eat this cost or the bank eat this cost? The bank's gonna eat. They really gonna? You're sure. For something small like this, that was a wire that would be like 10 to 14. So this is when you get a message on your phone, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, was this you? And you yeah. just say no, and then they reimburse you. Give it back in like less than 24 hours. Tastes better, feels better when it's free. How <laughs> does it? I'm going to spend my own hard-earned money. They can spend the, the other guy's money. Has anyone ever tried to scam you before? Yeah, of course. In what way? Well, how do they try and do it? Oh, I got almost scammed on a puppy thing online. You had to pay a down payment for a puppy, and then there was no puppy? They were trying to with, like, fake pictures, and then I just canceled it because I said this feels like a scam. What do you think should happen to a scammer if they get caught? I mean, there should be some sort of legal repercussion. What do you think? It's tough to say. What but... would you say if you met a scammer in real life? Probably punch him. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know why we all look at you. <laughs> yeah. Well, if I get scammed in the next 24 hours, I'll be calling you guys for help, okay? Yeah, we got you back. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> uh, everything's free for everybody today. What? Really? Yeah. Thank you. I would love some white owl work rate, please. Don't want anything. Everything's free today. Go get some. Go get your oh, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I love uh, ma'am, you can put that up here. Everything's free today. I know I said the same thing. <laughs> they call him what? Punch made dev. Oh, okay. Who is he? Punch made dev. How do you describe yourself? A great person. Uh, Very caring. Uh -huh. Also, nice. he would describe himself as a rapper and a scammer. Oh, okay. <laughs> Internet's most famous scammer. Oh, goodness. Well, good for him. He's doing good doing it, I guess. That <laughs> touch. What are we doing? The duality of man. Whoa! Yin and yang Yo, wait, wait. Well, good for him. He's doing good doing it, I guess. That touch. Oh, that touched me. I thought she said don't touch her. What are we doing? The duality of man, folks. The yin and yang of life, huh? We just went into a and he came out with $10,000 cash. It works. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I appreciate it. It's funny how their tune changes as soon as the scammer is helping them. They don't Bro, care. Bro, what? They punch him. <laughs> Which I could see why. People are complicated, you know? People are very complicated. I heard the guy that's card that is was working hard at McDonald's for 10 hours for that money. Oh, yeah, he's working very hard. <laughs> 
He's running his credit. This is directly from his song. The clerk will let you swipe the car after you jam the chip. After it ain't working two times, she'll let you use the strip. It didn't decline? Uh, no, I didn't fly. I never heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They'll probably have a nice day. And sometimes they try to make you use the chip, but that's why you just jam the chip and make it make it purposely decline. So what you just thing. said, you follow a step by step of your own instruction from yes. the song. How is your ordinary person stop that from happening to them? Please, there's no way. Just if, if you, you use your, your debit card, card, shut the bank off right away. Yeah, but it's not even you losing it though. You'll just go like you'll go pay for it somewhere, or I'll have somebody at an inside like a McDonald's, and they'll swipe that through, and then. Card info is mine. So the next scam we're gonna go into is the skimmer. They'll put a skimmer on top of this. I mean, a skimmer on top of this. It's mainly the one in the store too. Like the one that I just used, it'll have another like, it's quick. Like somebody will pull up and just plop it on quick and you won't even know. So would you know if you walked up to a- Damn, a skimmer, hey bro. Would you know? Hey yo bro, that shit got me scared to even use an ATM then. Damn. So them niggas can hit an ATM with a skimmer and if you go hit that bitch after them, they get your info. Damn, that's hard. Damn, that's hard. Yo, bro, that's hard. Yo, bro, that's hard right there. Yo, that's some hard. I ain't fucking with that, but that's some tough shit, bro. Damn. Yeah, I would know. So but you can tell. Yeah. Where's the next spot we're pulling up to? We can punch that pizza. So guys, what's going through your head right now? We've seen a few scams. It was pretty much step by step like you described in the song. Just make it decline twice and then swipe it. He literally did his own playbook in front of us. Yeah. It's just crazy how easy it is. It doesn't feel as bad when you're stealing from banks. Like if I knew that he was causing people to get evicted or not be able to pay rent or not be able to afford their kids, I'd be really pissed and want to strangle him. But I don't, I'm not as angry that he's scamming a bank. I feel like everybody's got to foot the cost eventually, so like, I feel like that's just getting passed on to the, the consumer. It's kind of like the hood Mr. Beast. <laughs> He's kind of the hood Mr. Like chaotic, Beast. chaotic, evil Mr. Beast. I love that, the hood Mr. Beast. Punch made that. Everybody listen up, this is a punch lesson. Go and get a fire car to site, go to the dump section. Never get a... How many pizzas have you punched from this place? Domino's ain't really my first choice, but... If you're gonna steal a pizza, I feel like... This is like the, the sea level place to steal from. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to call them. I'm about to uh, order like six, seven pieces, and then they're going to ask for the car details over the phone. I'm going to give it to them. You just give someone else's car. Yeah. Uh, Pick up. Can they ask the name for the order? Kane, can I get a large cheese pizza? One Fried months or maybe some sausage uh, pizza? <laughs> <laughs> one large pepperoni. One large sausage. One large sausage. So. This will be $54.09. Yes, yeah, so I could punch it. Yeah. Is so you just punched a pizza. Yeah, punched a couple pizzas for free. How can Domino's protect themselves from people like you? But they can't. They just gotta hope people like me don't want to eat there. Should we do an ATM and then pick up the pizzas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We hit the ATM. All right, we're hitting the ATM. I'm about to show you how to use a clone card real quick. Easy money, man. Like magic. What? All right, so what the hell just happened? We just pieced up a chip, took it into the ATM, and cleared that. I had my runner going there, cleared that whole out. When we pull up in a ski mask to a bank, do you think that sets off any alarms? Yeah, but it's too late by the time we leave. Did you notice the two Lexington police officers yeah, in a nearby yeah. parking lot? On the street, yeah, I've seen them, yeah. They be there all the time. You just gotta know your area. The theme I'm getting with all these scams is the only way to stop it is just don't let your stuff get stolen. Yeah. If you lose a card, tell the bank to lock it and the bank will reimburse you if someone like you strikes. Yeah, the only thing is if like somebody was to wire. Bro, yo bro, that nigga is a scam, bro. I don't, bro, there's no way this show. Bro, I don't believe it, bro. Like more than a quarter million out of your bank account. The government, they only uh, protect up to two hundred fifty thousand. FDIC insured yeah. up to two hundred fifty k. If it's no more than two hundred fifty k, you're good. People that are watching this and say Punch Made Dev is a piece of shit. What do you say to them? I say F you. I probably scammed you, or I will soon. What are the consequences hey, uh, for scamming? No. Like, what, what are the penalties someone can face for this? It could be a whole bunch of factors. A wire fraud is already one. I mean, you could do up to like 20 plus years. Wire fraud years. is a federal case, right? Yeah. So how are you not scared to let us into your world today? I know what I'm doing. Does anyone in your crew have a normal job? No. None of you guys do nine to fives? Yeah, no. Nah. Why would they? It's free money. I mean, you gotta have a way to cover it up, you know? Some of us do videos, some of us rap, some of us sell clothes. Is this your dream job? This is my dream job. How long do you plan on being in this game? Forever. 
It's really, I don't really You're gonna be a grandpa scamming people? Yeah, I'm gonna be 70 years old, still walking in and out the bank. Bro, when your kids get old enough to see what you've done on the internet, what do you think you're gonna tell your kids? I'm gonna tell them life isn't supposed to be taken so seriously, so just enjoy it and have fun. If you wanted to buy a home or a rental property with this money, you think you could do that? I have a home. I have a home. Yeah, I got a, a big ass crib, movie theater, everything in there. I got marble floors, five bedrooms upstairs. I got two bedrooms downstairs, a gym, movie theater upstairs. A pool in the backyard. Right. You can see my closet right here a little bit. Look at the closet you recently came out of. Hashtag Pride Mon. Our pizza is probably ready. It's time no to get our way, pizzas. No way, Sorry, bro. Domino's. Ain't no way, bro. Have you ever encountered people scamming their way into pizzas? Yes. How do they do that? They lie. They lie about everything. How can Domino's protect itself against scammers? Bro. Bro, this shit real, bro. I'ma tell you how I know this shit real, bro. Back then, 2K community is a nigga in 2K community, bro. It probably been them niggas. I don't know. But, bro, back then, we used to be getting, they used to charge you like $5, $6 to get like $60 worth of pizza, bro. And, like, bro, they used to do it. Bro, them niggas do they sell, bro. All you had to do is just give them a fake address, bro. Like, them niggas do that shit on God, bro. Any nigga in 2K community back then know that shit, bro. On Twitter, them niggas used to be punching niggas shit, bro. Grabbing the info and giving them peace out, bro. I mean, bro, I get a whole wing, wing pasta and some more shit for like three, four dollars, bro. Them niggas was junkie, bro. Them niggas charge you three, four dollars and they spend 60, 70. Real shit. Yo, bro said, be, yo, chill with that, bro. Like, yo, bro, niggas, yo, I don't understand. Five hundred dollars, yo. Hey, five dollar check, five dollar get y'all my whole big box of pizza, gang. Big ass Sprite drink, gang. Two liter, big ass liter, gang. I'm telling you, bro, shit crazy, bro. That's how you punch a pizza. Free eats. Sorry, Domino's. It's this hey, guy. Yeah, no, true. What percent of your food you guys actually pay for? Maybe five percent. <laughs> if you guys did this to a mom and pop shop, would you feel bad? Nah. Hell no. How old are you, Dad? Below 25. How old were you when you first started doing stuff like this? Like 15. What was the first scam you ever pulled? It was like e-whoring. I would get like a pictures of like a, a girl I knew or somebody on the internet that looked like a regular girl though. You don't want to get like fucking Ruby Rose or oh, something like that. e-whoring. Yeah, e-whoring. Post it all on Tinder, all them dating apps. And I'd be like, add me on Snap, but I'll sell like a premium and shit like that. That shit was ass though. Like just texting like niggas all day. I ain't like doing that. That probably takes forever. Yeah, and it was slower too. Do you impersonate a decently hot chick mm -hmm. pretending to send exclusive Snapchats to thirsty guys out there? And I'll do meetups too. I'll be like uh, 300 for a meetup. And people will literally drive like three to four hours away. But he wants me to tell him what car he's in so he knows like I'm actually there to female. So he'll pull up to the fucking uh, cul-de-sac. He was like, he was in a white Benz. So I was like, I see you in the white Benz. He was like, can I just come in and then pay you after? I was like, nah, send the money up front. It's like late at night too. And then uh, he sent it and I told him I didn't get it. I told him send it again. He sent it again. He was like, this is my last. I'm literally going negative and I won't have any gas to get home. I swear to God. And then uh, he sent that. And you I didn't feel bad at this point? No, nah, I, I rolled up the window and I yelled, it's the fucking police. And nigga drove off. <laughs> He was down to his last while of driving a Benz. Yeah. So what do you think about some people's financial priorities? Like, I feel like some people is, yeah. they live above their means. So what you tell me this nigga will finish, he spent 600 to 900 on some piece of pussy. He finna spend six. Yo, you, yo, bro, what man they desperate that will spend 900 on some pussy or 600 on some pussy, bro? When it millions of bitches out here, we can get that motherfucker up. What the? Yo, yo. Yo, bro, that's why OnlyFans bitch is rich, though, bro. Look at that shit, bro. His ass deserve to be scammed, bro. Yo, bro, they need a scam. Yo, bro, he deserve to be scammed, bro. Yo, bro, let me go hit his ass, bro. Yo, I'm gonna go get a bad bitch from my uh from somewhere in my time, bro. And I'm telling you, get his ass good on me. Let him see the bitch and see him pull off. You can get his ass. He deserve it. My pet peeves is littering. <laughs> what the hell is this? We got to feed birds. Yeah. The birds it's not eat. Yeah, I'm just feeding the animals. How much do you think this ring cost? That was sixteen. Sixteen thousand dollars Yeah, from Johnny. Okay, so we're here at the Airbnb you have for the day. You're going to show us the last scam of the day. A big wave right now is cash up. This one's going crazy. Be 55, eight. So 55000 Literally that simple. And how did you do that? Got to pay for the size, man, but, and I can cash that out. Yo, bro, I, I don't know what Yo, bro, yo, bro, I don't believe this shit, yo, bro, I don't believe this shit, bro. I don't believe it, bro. Y'all don't believe it, bro. I don't believe that, bro. 
I don't believe it, bro. I don't, bro. That gotta be his money, bro. That, bro. Well, I do know. We just gave you a how-to video, how to avoid getting scammed, yeah, right? How to avoid getting scammed, educational purposes. I encourage everybody to make money in a legitimate fashion, in a way that you can look yourself in the mirror, be proud of what you're doing. So folks, we just looked into the, the life of the internet's most famous scammer, Punch Made Dev. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. Peace. Yo, bro, yo, bro, bro, what? Yo, what's the comment saying, bro? What? Yeah, bro, I don't believe Aiden Ross. Let me see. Can't spell. He said, he said Aiden Ross.